What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to your Thursday update. So I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet because to be honest, there isn't a lot going on, man. There isn't a lot going on the week before Christmas. We'll catch you guys up if you're not at your console or you haven't checked your phone or anything like that. I'm going to show you this video and bring you guys up to date with what is new this week, everything you need to know. So team play fun event. There is one week left in that. Then I think we're going to see a little bit of a break in that as they kind of bring out a new event. Um, but let's kind of like watch that space. They also bring in against player v player a penalty shootout. So a lot of people actually like this. Um, you know, it's quick. It's easy. If you win, you get your skill trainers or whatever. So I do like the fact that they brought this back. Um, we also have the Brazilian clubs teamed event. So that's obviously going to be for your skill trainers and your coins. And of course, we have the Turkish clubs for the coin event as well. So basically, you win one game in each of these and you will get 50 coins for your first win. Um, it doesn't matter who you pick, man. It doesn't matter who you pick. Like we can, you can change team or whatever. But when you get that first win across both of these events, as normal, rinse and repeat, you'll get your 50 eFootball coins. If you don't have enough players, you get loan players. Look, it's a very easy way of getting 100 coins every week. Um, also, with the AI matches then on the Turkish Club AI event, you will get your free chance deal, excuse me, lads, and you will also get that with the Brazilian clubs. So, basically, if you are a newcomer or if you've been playing the game for a while, you will start to learn that these Dream Team teamed events will give you 50 eFootball coins each, and these Dream Team Tour events offline where you're playing against the AI or you're simming against the AI will give you your free player of the week spin. The rest of the stuff is as normal for the events. That brings us on, I suppose, to the contracts and what players you're actually going to be spinning, right? So they actually have two player of the week selections from here on in. And this is kind of the way that they've been doing it for a while now with the European Club Championship. So you've got your worldwide player of the weeks and you've also got your European Club Championship player of the weeks. So one is domestic leagues. The other is European competitions. OK, so we've got in this. We finally have another Modric card who's down as a right midfielder. There's some nice cards in here. Again, lads, all of these are aimed. I mean, I know people are going to say like, oh, this is the 10th version of Cavaradona. Uh, this is the 10th version of Kim. This is the 10th version of, you know, Paqueta. I understand that, man. And if somebody like me has been playing this game for a long time, none of these cards are going to scratch uh, the surface for my main squad. Now, on my road to glory squad or as a beginner squad, these guys are actually quite decent. There's some really nice players in here. I mean, Cavaradana is a fantastic option to have. He's going to have, a, you know, 91 acceleration. <coughs> Excuse me, lads, my throat's still a bit sore. Tight possession is going to be nearly 90. Dribbling is going to be fairly decent with that high balance and really good player skills as well. Um, so, you know, you can't train up any of these players. They're all set on a form. There's some nice selections in there. Modric is probably the, the pick of them, I suppose. Not the best version of Modric that they've ever released. But as an AMF, he will be very, very solid as a creative playmaker. I'll do a full review on them. No training guides needed with those because they are what they are. That's their max level at level one. And they only have one level to go, right? So as I said, you can get your free spin on that. You'll also get your free spin on... Or sorry, you also get your three spins on this one. So this, I think, is slightly better depending on what type of players you're looking for. It's very attack heavy. Um, obviously you've got Joe Hart and goals there, but you've got a couple of nice players and a couple of nice options. Chuck Wazy is always a great player. I mean, 99 acceleration with the manager boost is going to be good. His balance is a little bit low, but the fact he can't play as an AMF is a killer on this whole player card, but the rest of his, his stats and his card is really, really nice. As I said, I'll do a proper review on these. It's just to give you a quick look. I don't want to make this video too long, but that is the selection there that you have for the player of the week European and the player of the week worldwide. We also have the Brazilian selection here. So these cards are actually maxed out as well. These are kind of um, player of the season ones. So they should be the best versions. But even Luis Suarez, lads, he's an okay card, man. He's nearly maxed out finishing, but pace and acceleration for where the game's at is not going to cut it. There's a couple of nice ones in there that we'll get through as well um, later in the day. And also we have the Turkish pack here as well. So the Turkish league actually has some nice players. You can see a couple of them here. Now these will need to be trained, right? So they're not maxed out. So there's three packs that are ma maxed out. Um, Anuachu is a really, really good player. I would definitely like Nani as well as a throwback. He's 37 in that. But uh, yeah, the rest of the pack, I mean, depending on if you're a newcomer or not, is going to be disappointing. The rest of them are ongoing then as well. And that's pretty much it, lads. There's nothing really else going on, man. We will have a look later on in another video at what's coming on Monday. But other than that, same kind of rinse and repeat match pass and objectives. There's nothing really happening in it. It's mostly cards and those events, right? Now, we do know about the Leo meters as well. 
Um, that was last week. We know that that's still ongoing. And then there is a couple of issues as well. Uh, when reaching the final space of daily game, it's a display only issue. It just doesn't go to the last spot. So for us here, we are on, I think, I'm not even too sure. I missed my first ever penalty on this main profile the other day. But this is kind of where you're going to be at with the penalties. Uh, I think you're going to be, what? I think, is it one more? I think it's three more days. Yeah, so I actually missed one penalty i think it was or i forgot to log in one day i don't remember when i was sick um but yeah this this week once you clear this is going to be the first time you get your worldwide chance deal which as we know is going to be either maradona cobble um the goalkeeper ronaldo or costa corta so yeah but that is pretty much it let's just a short video today i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be back in a little bit let me know if you're disappointed or happy i think it's pretty disappointing this week man but let me know what you guys think